No matter where you plant your feet in Taiwan, the mountains and the sea are just a heartbeat away. This geographic perk has turned the Taiwanese people into avid outdoor goers, with camping on the top of their list. Picture this: tents set against mountain backdrops, quality time instead of screen time, kids running wild and free, families huddling each other, cooking and sharing meals. It's the ultimate therapy for urbanites. But hold your horses. That's not my kind of camping. I'm that guy who selfishly wants to keep nature all to himself. I'm all for solo camping. Probably a hangover from a days as a paratrooper. Military trainings taught me to respect Mother Nature and inspire me to camp in a minimalistic style. The army pup tent is my home in the wild. I cook on a wood stove, which was formerly an ammo box, and I never go without my trusty old machete. All my supplies are meticulously portioned, and I never bring excess food. After all. City life is all about indulgence, and I'm not all for that. The best practice for minimalistic camping is to fit everything into one combat backpack. With this setup, I can trek deeper into the wild. For an OCD guy like me, packing is part of the therapy. Wanderers all have secret spots they keep it to themselves. I'm no different. Taiwan's terrain is full of hidden gems and hazards. Compared to continental landscapes, the mountains on this island are far more unpredictable. Every year, some thrill seekers pay the ultimate price, but the allure never fades. When I reach a spot, setting up my chair and table is always the first move. Take a deep breath, and it's time to chillax. Lighting a fire with wood is somewhat captivating. I'd constantly look for scrap wood, dry and store them for future use. Forest regulations in Taiwan are strict, so felling trees is obviously not an option. Lighting a fire doesn't really count as an achievement in the 21st century, but every time those flames flicker, I feel like I'm channeling my inner Nianta.
staring at the warm glow. It's oddly soothing. The simpler the way you engage with nature is, the deeper you bond with it. Everything becomes pure, even the simplest food tastes gourmet. As the night falls, the forest soundscape becomes intense. Listening to it, zoning out, my sense is heightened. A restless night in the wild to me is a treat compared to a morning in the city. <laughs> That same cup of pour-over coffee, it somehow tastes different here. All that serenity shatters with the buzz from your phone. As much as I love the call of the wild, it's tough to ignore the call from my mate, Xiao Wei. As much as I enjoy solo moments in the nature, I love hanging out with like-minded buddies. Xiao Wei owns a modified Mitsubishi Delica, which could reach spots me and my trusty backpack camp. This isn't just a car. It's his mobile home. Folded down seats, I bet it is. To him, this vehicle is the synonym for survival. Should apocalypse ever hit. Given the roads we've tackled, I'd say we are probably in a post-apocalyptic terrain already. Delica was just an old commercial van in Taiwan, not a high-end off-roader, yet it still nails the job. Xiao Wei was once all about sports cars. Now he loves this van the most, because it's the only vehicle that is capable of taking him anywhere. Yeah, I know.
所以这个就是我第二个家，等于是，我等于是开它，开到哪我可以睡到哪，我可以录到哪，可以秋到哪。这个就是君如，口袋又破洞了。对，就是一开始你从不懂，然后什么都买，然后才会到我现在。Though we are molded by the urban way of living, deep down, we're still intertwined with nature. 当然，现在到了这个年纪，我觉得就是喜欢比较简单的生活。在都市，其实就是压力太大嘛。那当然就是有些时候，当然是需要一两天的晚上在户外，你什么都可以不用想，什么事情都可以不用去做，就好好的调试自己的身心灵。我觉得户外真的是一个很不错的。City life might dull our senses, but a return to nature sharpens them and mends the soul. If you are an outdoor goer, Taiwan would be your Santa gifting you with endless natural wonders. Camping trips are merely retreats, but a proactive way to bounce back from a lazy. As one journey concludes, the seed for the next one is already sown.